Hello people, OGB here, and welcome to my first gold farming video for Sod Phase 3 for Paladins. And before you say it in the comments, yes, I know, the incursion quests give more gold than you can ever hope to farm, but I cannot stand doing the incursions, so I'm gonna do this instead, because I am a warrior of the light, and killing undead is my duty. Alright, now that the roleplay is over, let's go over the farm. Basically what I'm doing is I am up in Western Plaguelands at the Fellstone Field Cauldron, or sometimes the Dalson's Tears Cauldron, just depending on which location is less crowded, and I'm basically farming undead. I'll put a link to my talent points in the description below, but uh, to go over it quickly, it's basically a deep holy build, 31 holy with holy shock. Uh, we're getting the pushback protection for our heals, and other than that, you could put your points in either ret or prot. Um, you're not really going to get anything meaningful other than a couple seconds off of your judgment. Which, to be honest, you won't really be using much because you're just going to be spamming exorcism and holy shock. Especially if you consider bringing world buffs up here, which I do recommend because it just makes the gameplay incredibly fun. And yes, it's open world, it's possible to get ganked and lose them, but to be perfectly honest, I haven't really had a lot of trouble at this location, and I'm on a huge server, Crusader Strike US. Uh, and like I said, you can always move to the Dalson's Tears cauldron if this one becomes crowded or you're getting ganked. Now, what's dropping here that I'm selling and making my gold off of is primarily rune cloth and healing and mana potions. Um, there are also some other things that drop, like the Journeyman's Backpack, which is really nice, and the Librum of Veracity can actually drop out here. So you can high roll into some pretty crazy gold per hour on these farms, but for the most part, I've had it very steady at uh, about 90. The other thing that's really, really great out here are the high-level green drops that you can disenchant. Some of the essences right now for enchanting materials are selling for like 30 gold, 36 gold each. So you can high roll really nicely on those. My disenchanting actually went extremely poorly on this run and all I got was dust, but I did have one of the tiger green that ended up selling for 25 gold by itself, so that kind of made up for it. A lot of people have been asking me lately about the advantages of being holy for this open world farming stuff that I like to do, or a lot of the dungeon farming as well, and I think it really is showcased perfectly here in this video. If you pay close attention, you can actually see that when I holy shock myself and I get a crit, I not only get the reduced mana cost back, I'm getting the full mana cost uh, as if I weren't using Art of War, which is really cool. So you'll actually see on my Holy Shock crits, my health and my mana are going back up. Which gives me incredible self-sustain, as well as being holy and having the heal pushback talent is just super, super helpful for doing big pulls. Uh, not to mention on top of that, being able to force crit a Holy Light and then ride the Sheath of Light healing while I just put out nothing but damage. It, it's just, it's simply miles ahead of red for any type of actual farming. And then when it comes to farming undead, you are just an immortal god. I have to say it's one of the more enjoyable farms that I've done, and it does have the additional side bonus of giving you Argent Dawn rep up to friendly just for killing these guys. Uh, but if you want to start going for Honored, you'll have to do the Cauldron Quest, which I really don't recommend. Okay, so let's fast forward to the end of the hour, and I will flash my bag again here. I showed it at the start, I believe I was at 49 gold. I'm now up to 58 just from the raw gold, and I'm going to hard put everything on the auction house and show that here. So what did we make here? We made about 8 gold from each stack of rune cloth. Uh, two of those stacks were already in my bag, as well as one stack of each health and mana potion, so I've subtracted those. Uh, but everything else added up together 
put me around 93 gold for this hour, and that's not including the greens that I sent to my alt for disenchant, even though they really didn't turn out great this time. But I just want to show you guys real quick. I'm going to flop, flip over to my auction page for my alt, and uh, these are the results of some of my other farms that I just decided to put up today. I would say that right now it's probably worth disenchanting just about everything. And that's about all there is to say about this farm. I hope this helps you out if you are sick of incursions like me, and if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and stick around. OGB out!